okay guys uh, very good afternoon to all of you uh, welcome back to the channel uh, it's been a little while I, I was away from uh, from from you guys uh, and uh, so I'm back and uh, today I'm going to share uh, uh, three very important tips um, uh, two tips I recently learned and I actually found them really am amazing and uh, funny as well I mean you, you know uh, so I thought uh, let's go ahead and you know share it uh, with each of you so welcome to the video number 543 and uh, very soon we are going to hit 600 videos what an amazing journey thanks so much for sticking around and uh, thank you so much i i keep getting a lot of subscribers every day and it's really giving me a lot of lot of energy uh, so this is a very basic level video but uh, uh, this is going to be very interesting uh, you're watching youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar pramar so let's go and talk about these three tips and before i go further i quickly want to show you that uh, uh, the you know on this channel you'll find 50 playlists uh, the channel is dedicated for uh, those people who want to learn excel excel vba access access uh, uh, front end and access vba and also the outer VBA which I am learning these days and I am going to share it with you. Uh, we have uploaded I think 4-5 uh, videos on the outer VBA so go and have fun right. So this is a systematic approach uh, if you can follow this so then I am sure you will get the lot of lot of gains right. So let's go and talk about the today's topic. Okay so we have uh, as I said that uh, uh, three features, three important important features, three different subjects and uh, First is uh, how to make this uh, particular title in the you know the, the chart which you use uh, how to make this dynamic so that uh, every time if you if you do some changes in the excel cell this get changed for example if you look at this if I if I just go and use the 2002 you can see that the the name the chart title is now talking about the uh, about the 2002 and if I just go and change this to 2003 this is automatically getting changed so it's not that boring static chart title you can do that right then we will be talking about the function n this is very interesting function i'll just i recently learned it and i'm i just can't wait to share it share it with you and then we have a wonderful option how to delete all the comments in the excel if you want to do that right so let's quickly start so the first is the dynamic title how how i can make this dynamic title so what i have done is uh, so basically this is a simple chart i delete this let me start from the scratch guys and uh, let me go here and let me just give it a font black because i have actually given it a white font so you can't see that but this is how it is so what is happening we have the month and we have their you know auto uh, mobile industry sales month on month and i'm just going to create a chart from this i go to the insert if you do not know what are the charts please go and watch excel via excel charts and the pivots playlist uh, you'll find uh, there I think six seven videos on the charts right and if you want to see how to make the charts using VBA then also go uh, under the playlist called Excel VBA charts and pivots the VBA word comes there in the title okay and you can see all the videos from the beginning now as you know that when we insert the chart you know chart gets inser inserted with the chart title and this is where you can go and edit the chart title right but chart title once you edit it for example if I just go and say that uh, this is uh, the chart title uh, this is called let's say two, uh, 2003 uh, sale right now this title will never change automatically unless you go in this chart title you select the chart and you edit it right I hope we all know that that's a very basic thing so guys what we can do is uh, somewhere in the background obviously you don't have to show to the user now what I have done is I'm just giving you the idea then you can customize according to your requirement right so what I did is I created here it down or uh, you know uh, these drop downs and in these drop downs I have just uh, you know I'm using couple of uh, these different different years 2001 2002 and this is just a simple data validation I select the data and I click on the data validation like this you know and we have uh, put all these different different years now if I choose any year you know that numbers are not going to change these numbers are not changing but this is not the agenda of this video right it can be done I have talked about this in my many of the videos especially the videos on the offset right so you can do that pretty well Excel is a very strong tool uh, if you just select that you know if you want that this data should also change you can customize it I mean you can put some formulas there and everything can be automated right but my main focus is to uh, show you that how you can uh, link this chart title with these outputs so w w the first thing is that uh, first thing is that I created the drop down 
and then in the next cell which is my c2 uh, what i did is i simply written some you know lines here like monthly sale number for year and then i joined it with the c1 cell right so i'm just using the and operator and it's just picking up this 2017 right so again as i said that you can customize this title whatever you want for example if you don't want the monthly sale you can maybe just go and write here sale numbers for year you know whatever you want to do right so now what happens this is the chart title the, the the title which you have just select that and go to the function bar here and say that equals to and just link that cell right so i'm going to link my this c2 because uh, c2 is further taking the value from the c1 so i press ok the moment you press enter or ok you know you see that the title is automatically changed right so this title has now a formula and the formula is coming from c2 and that c2 is obviously is a part of dynamic title spreadsheet right all clear so when you go here and you do any changes in the drop down you see that this is going to change automatically and if this is going to change you have a change over here and that is why you know because i really do not want uh, my user to see this title so what i can do i can just quickly go to the home tab and here i can give it a white font right let the user only select the the drop down and according to the drop down let this data changes right well as i said data right now is not going to change because that's not the motive of this video but you can go and uh, see all these techniques under the playlist excel offset function right so this is how we can do that uh, whenever you change do any change guys in the drop down your this the title will also change right and just in case if these numbers will uh, you know change for example if let's say your any formula the formula you have used if it is pulling the different different numbers you see that the chart will also auto you know the chart will also start changing right so that's how you can do that okay uh, by the way uh, uh, the uh, uh, the playlist which i said uh, the excel uh, you know charts and pivots uh, without any vba you'll find these uh, uh, some of the videos there on the automation as well there are some videos on the automation as well right you i mean uh, with the help of the drop downs how you can actually change your charts the complete charts okay let's go to the next topic guys so the next topic is uh, initially i found it really uh, i mean not useful but then i learned something very fantastic as i said uh, it's funny actually uh, it's funny not funny really but i don't know what to call but i'm loving it you know uh, it's a very good option to store the information about your formulas right so this is how you can uh, i mean you can build that so uh, i'll tell you so basically this is your database guys so this is called your n function n function if you if you go here press n equals to n you see that there is a function in excel and i recently learned this function what it says converts non number value to a number dates to a serial number right so guys basically it is used uh, to convert the true to one and false to uh, you know uh, anything which is not true is uh, it is going to be converted to zero so if you do not know uh, uh, this thing uh, let me just show you uh, in excel this true is a uh, actually not a text if you think that true is a you know it is considered as a text it is not that true is a number and i can show you if you just go uh, and add these you know cells e12 plus e12 if you think that you will get the error it is not the case you will get the true because true is considered as one and similarly the false is a you know this is a very important thing you should always know this that false again is not a text it is a proper number so if you go and uh, let's say add these false and true you will find you get the answer as one because false is zero okay and uh, so what happens when you use the n function if you see this n actually converts this true to a value called one and when you go and use the n with any other thing like for example this false you see that it is going to give you uh, you know the answer called zero and if you just go and use the n with any number it returns the same number now till this point it is fine i don't really see the use of this you know uh, especially when it converts the true to one and the false to uh, zero because they are already one and zero so if you multiply true with true or true with false you will get one and zero respectively so i don't find this information in this function so useful and uh, you know until i come to know that this can also be used uh, for your 
uh, the comments for example you can see that here what I have done uh, this is a formula I'm simply using the VLOOKUP this hundred we are looking up in this table this is your table the main table here right so you see I'm getting the 44 answer so but I have put some comments here these employees are joined in last three years so if somebody goes uh, through your formula they can also quickly check these comments right so what I've done I have done nothing you just delete this let me show you this from again first you prepare your normal formula this is a simple VLOOKUP formula right it's picking up 100 it's going in this table and pulling out the marks from the second column now if you want to put any information regarding this formula or anything regarding this database just add this value because when you add the n it becomes zero so eventually what will happen as as you learned here that uh, when you when you write the uh, n function read this line again it says that anything else to zero so in case of true it returns one and anything other than true it is always converts to zero and that is the reason you see that here also I got this uh, you know when I when I when I was using this ne14 this false is converted into zero right and similarly if I write anything which is not true this will still be zero right so that is why if you add anything if you add zero to any value the value will come back there will be no changes in the value so that is a lo logic so here you can put your information for example I can say that uh, uh, this is very this is uh, this is old data just put the double quotes guys and then just press enter and drag the formula when you drag the formula there will be no problem right the calculation will remain the same because ultimately this output will add zero to this entire function keeping its value intact unchanged and at the same time you can also see this you know that if you want to put some any important information and similarly you see that here I have cost price and selling price and here uh, what I'm doing I'm simply saying that this is a last year profit so the formula is working formula is uh, your L8 minus K8 selling price minus cost price but then what I have done I have added plus n and I've given the comment just if it is important for me so this is how you can use the n function the third part is very interesting now if I just go and insert some comments here for example I just go and insert some co comment AST let's say I put some more comments here and this is called let's say GG whatever it is right and I put the comment here also insert comment uh, let's say test okay now uh, I go and change uh, the the color let's say they don't have any color uh, because this these colors uh, I was practicing on it and uh, that's why I colored them now on your spreadsheet if you want to check where you have the comments you want to edit them you want to delete them in one go because right now you can't delete the comments simply using the excel skills without VBA uh, in one go you have to go to every cell one by one right and also it's very difficult to track all the comments if they are scattered because right now I have only added three comments you may have ten comments scattered you know all over the spreadsheet so what you need to do is you press Control G or you just go to the home tab and go to special the choice is yours right go to special when you go to the go to special then here you need to select this option comments which is by default selected I just go and press ok and you can see that all the comments are selected so now what you need to do if you want to delete them okay if you want to delete them just do not select any cell just hover your mouse here and right click and say that delete comments right you see that all the comments are deleted from the sp spreadsheet in one step right let me undo it just in case if you do not want to delete it you want to just go and edit them you want to check where I have got all the comments and necessary comments you want to keep and unnecessary comments you want to you know remove then guys uh, when this selection comes you can give give it a color also like let's say I give it a yellow color and then you select outside this way you know these colors will uh, let you know that where you have to go right so this is the options these are the three must tips guys i hope you have enjoyed this series and i'll see you now in my next video thank you so much for watching